Okay, so this is for ECE 4305 lab for the fall of 2021, and this is lab nine, the spectrum display. So in this lab, we have our potentiometer uh, into the ADC module as we did last time with the same configuration um, on our um, JTAG, or not our JTAG, but our connector. Um, we can see on the output right here that we're um, shorting the three unused ADC channels. And then we have our channel um, one right here, or zero that we use in our code. And then we have ground and then power. Okay, so we can see that it's the same schematic as before. Our power runs into the power rail, our ground runs into the ground rail. And then um, from our power rail, we have this 22K resistor, which connects to the top side of this uh, potentiometer the bottom side of the pot connects to the um, the negative part of the ADC channel zero and then this middle wire uh, runs to the positive side of our ADC channel zero which is the middle connection to the the wiper of the potentiometer okay so up here um, we have my code and then we have this little putty um, output right here just so that way we can get some UART displays just so that way we know that we're doing um, everything properly. So um, I programmed it so that uh, this on switch uh, needs to be high in order for um, the board to start doing anything. We could see that without it it's not doing anything but once I set it high we could see that we have our output right here. So this is in volts and then this is just reference to um, what output we're expecting based on this, um, the, the lab manual right here, where you have these six phases, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we can see that our um, spectrum varies amongst those six phases. So um, let's go back to the putty channel right here. We could see that, um, here, I'll even make it bigger. Uh, we could see at the bottom right here that we have um, we're in the first phase because we're below, we're pretty much at zero. So we should be seeing red and yellow or red or yellow because that's a spectrum. So on the lower end, it's red. And if I increase my potentiometer just slowly, you can see that it's starting to turn orange and then yellow. And now it should be onto the next phase where it's yellow and green. We can see that. Right over here, it's bouncing between. Hold on, let me pull it up a little more. Okay, yeah, so now we're on yellow and green. Um, we can see that we're green right now. Let me see if I can pull it down to yellow. It's a little touchy, but um, right now it's green. And then if I pull it up a little more, we should be into the, the green and cyan range right here. Um, we can see that right here that we're turning a little more cyan as the higher we go. And then now we're in the blue phase. So this is phase four right here. So cyan blue. We can see that we're starting to get a little bit of a darker blue. And now we're into the, the blue and purple range, which is phase five. Okay. And then as I keep going, we should get to the last range, which is pink and red right here, phase six. So we can see that if I pull it higher all the way, we get a solid red on our output right here. And then if I pull it back down, we can see that it's starting to change all the colors again, going through our spectrum. Um, we can also see that our, um, our UART is actually communicating with this, um, this putty window right here. So, this concludes Lab 9, the Spectrum Display.